Reading books on a screen that looks and feels like paper has been working for a lot of people for some time now. Even though e-reader sales are said to be in a rapid decline, Kindle, with over 30 million active users in the United States alone, is still alive. So is Remarkable, the e-ink note-taking tablet. The company has sold 1 million units and the second gen is out, so it doesn't look like Remarkable is going out of business anytime soon. So some people like to read and take notes on paper-like screens. But is it enough for this technology to become mainstream? This year, CES shows that paper-like screens might be on the rise. Let's take this Lenovo's hybrid with two screens, one of which is a color e-ink, for example. So this has a 13.3 inch um, vibrant 2.8K OLED display. And what makes it exciting is the fact that you also have a colorful e-ink on the other side. Um, so this is great if you want to customize your system. Um, for me, I'm the person who has stickers all over the outside of their laptop, right? Um, so being able to customize exactly what you want, um, you can show a gallery of photos, um, you can also easily access um, for note taking, you can access Windows on the e ink display, and that's what um, the twist in the name is all about. So you can actually use the e ink as your primary. So the benefit here is that you have a lot of energy savings because the OLED display is turned off on the other side. And then if you're, for example, browsing through PDFs or you know, you're just typing something up, the e-ink is great, especially for eye strain. There are some benefits to it, but I think we can all agree that the e-ink we've seen here is slow. You wouldn't want to have it as the only screen in your laptop. Thus, the other screen, the regular, normal, OLED in the twist. But that's not the only product Lenovo unveiled during this year's CES. Lenovo Smart Paper is a product that is made for proficient note takers. What do we mean by that? If in a day you frequently pick up a pen and paper to write notes, that's a device that you should consider. If you're looking at this from a technology standpoint, the first thing you'll notice is the screen. It's an e-ink display. And e-ink has this a particularity that it is low power consumption. Absolute fantastic under direct sunlight. It's actually the only screen technology you can take to the beach. The smart paper has a lot of features, but you'll find it similar to the Remarkables product, except for one thing. Everything I've showed you today as features, um, which is only a part of what this can do, is going to be without a subscription or membership. So you just pay, you get everything, and you're happy and you're productive. For me, it's an obvious reference to Remarkables Connect that doesn't cost much, but still is a subscription service. And subscription services are annoying. But Lenovo is not the only company that thought it would be cool to bring the paper-like screens back. This TCL's product is called NextPaper 12 Pro, and the tech behind it is... So NextPaper is the leading innovation in terms of screen policy. So when you, when you think of a screen, you think of glossy or a matte finish. This has a paper finish. The reason why it has a paper finish is because a lot of the times when we're on a, when we're sitting down at our desk or we're at an office setting, we have a lot of light that's coming in either from behind or on the sides. This screen absorbs that light so you get no glare, no glare at all. So behind the screen, this uh, paper finish, there's no e-ink or anything? No, no. All, everything that's behind the screen is solely meant for a reduction in blue light. So for the people that wear glasses and need that eye comfort, it's not gonna be any strain on your eyes because that blue light level is gonna be reduced. So whatever is natural on the screen, you're gonna see it through your vision. That's the basic concept of uh, next paper. Simple. Okay, but what's behind it? Like, is it an this OLED is, or? This is an LED screen behind it. This is an LED screen. It's a multi-layer LED screen with the, the next paper technology on top of it. Okay, what's the refresh rate? It's like 60? We don't actually go by that with this technology. It actually does not have that elaborate 60, 90 hertz refresh rate. It's just next paper technology. And that's it? That's it. Thank you. You're welcome. Since we didn't learn much about the screen technology itself, I can only tell you how it feels. It feels way more responsive than the e-ink. It's not even comparable. And probably way more power consuming as well. But it's not the only Next Paper product showed by TCL at CES. They also came up with a Next Paper smartphone. It's not a stunning product spec-wise, but the screen feels like something more than just a matte glass layer. And a TCL rep told me that it's surprisingly scratch resistant. 
I didn't have the chance or rather the balls to test it on site. Okay, so he showed us four products from two different companies and based only on that you claim that the paper-like screens are on the rise. I did some online research as well, but yes, that's my take on this. Feel free to disagree with me in the comment section below. Other than that, thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.